Hi friends! So we just read the story of Ruth, which is the story that follows a woman named Ruth, fancy that, and her mother-in-law, Naomi. Now this story is one that, that follows them after their tragedy. It follows them in one of their the worst parts of their life. And so, what can we take from this story? What can we learn from this story? There are two things that I want you to take from here. First one, this is a story where we see these two women lament. Now, lament is a word um, that you'll find in the Bible. You'll actually find it in other places too because it's just a word. But it is a, an expression of deep grief and sorrow. And so we see this particularly in Naomi. Naomi is made really sad and even bitter over the situation. And now bitter is a harsh word, but something that we want you all to take away is that it is okay to lament. It's actually a good thing. When we face hard times, it is important that we acknowledge what is making us sad. It's, we don't want to skim past what is calling, causing us hurt. It is an okay, it is a good thing to name the things that are hurting us. There's actually a whole book in the Bible called Lamentations. And it's a book where the, the writer was naming the things that they were sad over. Now this sounds dark, but when we face hardship, it is important that we name the things that are making us sad. So how can we do this? I want to encourage you to journal. Or, Steve once mentioned that he and Allie write on post-it notes things that they are grateful for and things that are hard. And I want, I want you to hold on to that too. Could you, maybe, when you're facing hard times, write on a post-it note what specifically is making you sad? Or can you journal, talk to God about what in your life is causing you that sorrow? The second takeaway is one that recognizes that other people may be facing hard times too. That other people may be sad and lamenting over things that you are not yet aware of. In the story of Ruth, we see Ruth come alongside Naomi in a very loyal way. She says to Naomi that she will not leave her side. You all, something that I want you to take away from this story is that kind of loyalty. In this season of pandemic, but also in seasons in general that are hard, when we see people going through hard times, how are you going to be loyal? And one tangible way that I want you to consider is the art or the practice of listening. You see, we don't know the hardships people are facing without asking. And so, um, like Ruth, I want to encourage you all to come alongside people in hard times. So maybe one challenge I have for you is to go home tonight and just listen to your parents or your siblings or a friend. Be present with people and come alongside them in their hard times. Right now, it's Tuesday night, and we are expecting a storm. And now you know, because it's Wednesday when you see this, whether or not the storm happens. Um, but right now, we are anticipating a particularly bad thunderstorm. Now, this might be cheesy, but I want to remind you that all of us in our lives are going to face some sort of storm. There are going to be difficulties in our lives. And so, when we face storms, I want you all to be equipped, knowing that it's okay to lament, it's a good thing to recognize what makes you sad, and two, that it's important to stick with people, to come alongside people through difficult times. 